time to kind of get this together. We'll be sending it out to everyone um, for you to relive this moment and or share it uh, with any family members who maybe were not able to join us live. So good morning, everyone. My name is Nanoska. I am our tribal sites uh, tech manager and also the ITA Oneida and ITA Lock the Flambeau um, multimedia design instructor. Um, I am an ITA graduate of the class of 2015. I went to UW Madison and then I came back to work here full time because I truly love everything the program does. Um, before we get started with our celebration, um, I want to take a minute to acknowledge the lane in which UW Madison is. The University of Wisconsin Madison occupies central Ho Chunk land, a place their nation has called De Jope since time immemorial. In an 1832 treaty, the Ho Chunk were forced to cede this territory. Decades of ethnic cleansing followed when both the federal and state government repeatedly, but unsuccessfully, sought to forcibly remove the Ho Chunk from Wisconsin. This history of colonization informs our shared future of collaboration and innovation. Today, UW-Madison respects the inherent sovereignty of the Ho-Chunk Nation, along with the 11 other First Nations of Wisconsin. So today we are not only joined by our families, our graduates, but also by our staff. Um, and I think our staff is a big part of Helping our students um, definitely was a big part of my success when I was in ITA. So I wanna give them the time to introduce themselves so you all know who it is that has been working with your students. Um, and Liliana, I am going to start with you because Liliana helped me prepare for today and I couldn't have done it without her. Thanks, Nino. Uh, big shout out to Nino, though. She's doing the heavy lift of emceeing tonight or today. Um, but like she said, hello, everyone. My name is Liliana. Um, I work as a graduate assistant here at ITA. I teach college prep and ACT prep classes. For those of you in Madison, I know you've seen me around at Saturday sessions. Um, I just wrapped up my first year at grad school here. I'm pursuing a master's in public affairs at the La Follette School of Public Affairs, which funny enough feels like a full circle moment because I did graduate from La Follette High School and ITA in 2017. Um, so I'm a recent graduate and happy to be here today and celebrate all of y'all's accomplishments. I'm so proud of you all and so happy to be here today with you all. Um, so with that, I will go ahead and turn it over to my colleague, Brenda. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Brenda. I work for the tribal sites. I teach college prep as a, the academic instructor. Um, I am a um, ITA alum, class of 2010. Sorry, it's a long time, so I have to think back. Um, but I'm really excited to be here and seeing all of you graduate. It's um, super it's a great moment for me. Um, and I'm gonna pass it on to Marsha. Hello and good morning, everyone. And congratulations to the graduates as well as to your parents. Um, it does, definitely takes a full family um, in addition to the program to get to this point. So congratulations on your major accomplishment. Um, as Brenda said, I'm Marsha, Marsha Lovett. I'm the outreach program manager with ITA. And I'm very excited um, to be here and to celebrate your accomplishments and look forward to seeing you more in the future. This is not goodbye. This is so long for now. And I will pass it over to my colleague, Christopher Kilgore. Thanks, Marsha. Good morning, everybody. And a huge congratulations to all. Um, this is no small task to have accomplished. And I give you uh, just a, a huge kudos uh, for all the work uh, and perseverance and getting through this. It's wonderful to see everyone's faces and names popping up on the screen here. Uh, I'm the Tribal Programs Manager with ITA. I work in the Lac Flambeau and Oneida communities predominantly, but also work in the Madison community. So it's fantastic to see everyone. Again, incredibly proud. And to Marsha's point, this is not goodbye. This is just see you and see you soon. I'll pass this on to uh, my colleague, Ibadette. Good morning, everyone. My name is Eva Dett. 
Um, and I teach the services, I am the services advising specialist. So I teach the leadership and the career development course. Um, I just wanna say congratulations to all of you. You were my first cohort when I came into this position. So I've definitely seen you all grow as students um, in person and virtually. And I'm so excited for all of you. Definitely come back, come back, work for ITA, come say hi, tell us all the accomplishments that you've had. Um, just don't be a stranger to ITA. I'm gonna pass it on to AJ. Thank you, Ibadet. So my name is AJ Daughtry Krill. I am the technology education lead, um, mostly in Madison. Um, and I worked with many, all of you on Senior Capstone. And it hasn't changed that I'm so proud of you, but I'm just feeling so much pride today in all of your dedication and work. As Chris said, this was not easy. Pat yourself on the back, get hugs, whatever makes you feel good. We're just so happy for you. And we're so happy you, you made it to today. I'll say more later, congratulations. Oh, and I'll pass it on to my colleague, Excel. Excel. You're still on mute. Oh, good morning, everybody, and congratulations. And to re reiterate what everybody said, uh, please don't be a stranger, but uh, my name is Excel Williams and I am the outreach uh, program coordinator for the ITA program. Um, and I'm so happy you guys have made it um, and congratulations. And I'm really proud of you all. And I think I'll pass it on to Ron. <laughs> Good morning. Great to see everyone here this morning. Uh, congratulations, as um, uh, others have noted. Um, this was particularly challenging. You all signed on for, um, you know, Saturdays and summertime in-person sessions and and some remote business. If you were um, Lacta Flambo or NIDA student, uh, and and uh, you spent um, uh, the lion's share of your uh, IT experience in this pandemic mode. So uh, your perseverance is uh, shining through here. I do hope everyone is very proud of themselves. Um, so yes, families, uh, thank you for the support you provided and uh, the staff um, for, for uh, encouraging. Thanks very much. Um, and, and a particular uh, thank you this morning to uh, Ninoska for being our MC. And I have to say this is a, a historic day because Ninoska is the first graduation MC for an ITA graduation who's also an IT alumnus. So a uh, pretty monumental day here, I think, and for that. And thanks to Liliana for all the work that she did also planning um, uh, today's festivities here. So um, kudos especially to those two. I know we have student staff members on here also who need to be doing uh, introductions as well. Hello, everyone. Um, congratulations. Um, my name is Samantha, and I am a junior tech instructor for the tribal sites. Um, and I'm a 2019 ITA Lacta Flambeau graduate. So I came back to give back to this program because I loved it so much. Hi, I'm Julie Hagstrom. I'm the student success outreach coordinator in Lacta Flambeau. And I just wanna say congratulations to all of you, um, especially the ones that came through the Electa Flambeau community site. It was a rough couple of years, but you did it. So congratulations. Well, I think that is all of our staff. Um, so again, welcome and thank you all for joining us today for ITA's class of 2022 graduation. Uh, while we wish we could celebrate this moment with you all in person, we have done our best to bring you this live event. Uh, feel free to utilize the chat throughout our time together. Um, and for our students, there will also be a time for you to say a few words if you choose to. Today, we celebrate 32 students who made one big decision that changed the course of their high school years and their lives. ITA Oneida and ITA Lata Flambeau students accepted our offer for a mission three years ago. 
and IT medicine students accept our offer for admission four years ago. As eighth graders and freshmen, you compiled your application and showed us your potential. You came to your interview and told us why you wanted to be in this program, and we believed in you. The next step was for you to put in the work. You made good on your pledge to show up at 9 a.m. on so many weekends. Time and time again, you made the difficult decision to prioritize ITA over other activities. You had the discipline to manage your time well so you could balance ITA with everything else in your lives and you committed to learn. ITA Madison students spent countless Saturdays with us in the computer science building. ITA Oneida and ITA Lots of Flambeau students spent hundreds of hours completing online coursework, in addition to multiple full weekend cohort meetings each year. You all spent a combined two months of your summers learning about different aspects of technology and preparing for academic success. You made an investment in yourself and it paid off. All of our graduates were accepted to pursue post-secondary education. Each of you deserve the future you have worked incredibly hard to create. And I know that your families, the ITA staff, and all of our other guests online today are incredibly proud of your achievements. I would like to now introduce our first speaker um, of today, which is ITA Advisory Board Speaker, Ms. Michelle McKernan. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting Michelle when I was in the ITA program. Um, she is a native of Long Beach, California. Michelle earned a bachelor's degree in psychology and a master's degree in counseling from California University, Long Beach. She started her career in education as a literacy instructor at the Long Beach School for Adults and later worked as a school counselor for the Long Beach Unified School District. Upon moving to Wisconsin, Michelle worked as an academic counselor at Cardinal Stritch University and then worked as an academic support specialist for the Information Technology Academy. After leaving ITA, Michelle moved to Madison College where she was a psychology instructor. Michelle is currently working as a real estate agent here in Madison. Welcome Michelle and the screen and time is yours. I almost forgot to unmute. <laughs> okay, I did forget for a second. Thank you so much, Nanoska. And thank you, Ron, for inviting me to represent the ITA Advisory Board on this very special day. Congratulations to all the graduates. I am really happy to be here today to celebrate your achievements and to acknowledge those who've supported you along the way. Uh, I joined ITA as a staff member in 2006. The cohorts had just increased from 15 to 30 students the year before. And up until then, Excel was the academic support specialist, it was a few title changes ago, um, for all four grades. I was new to Madison. Um, I'd arrived the year before. And while I was grateful to find a job when I got here, uh, the one before ITA wasn't a great match. Um, it, was, it wasn't bad. I was used to doing work though that was more aligned with my values and made my heart happy. And I was really missing that particular satisfaction. <clears throat> so one day I was out to lunch with a coworker who seemed to recognize that. And she asked me to describe my ideal job. And I couldn't tell you exactly what I said to her, but maybe a week later, she handed me a newspaper clipping that would be a piece of paper cut with scissors from a printed newspaper and uh, said, this sounds like exactly what you described. And she was right. And it was the posting for this job. I applied and was hired as uh, Excel 2.0 and stayed with this amazing program until 2012. Um, even in the years in between being ITA staff and being welcome to the advisory board, I have always stayed connected and um, treasure many relationships with uh, staff, former students, and families that begin in the days when a few of today's staff were ITA students. Um, and when Excel and I were constantly battling it out to over that red couch in the office, which I believe is still there. Um, what I've come to understand in the years since is that being a part of ITA 
made me a part of the greater Madison community in ways that just would not otherwise have been possible. Uh, much as my connection with ITA continues to shape my experience in Madison and beyond, I suspect that each of you here today will continue to recognize ITA's influence in the years ahead. Uh, the immediate impact is already tremendous. It started with that application process, which is a huge deal. Um, as a member of the advisory board since the application cycle of 2020, it's such an honor to participate in that process and to meet you in those interviews. The varied experiences and perspectives everyone brings to the table, the, um, the, the advisory board members, the staff, uh, it's just really energizing. Everyone's so committed and it's a wonderful thing to be a part of. Remember those interviews, students? By the time you got there, you had already gotten through a couple of elimination rounds, rising above other applicants who were no slouches themselves. And here you all are over four years later with great portfolios and resumes and more Zoom experience than anyone ever wanted or needed. Um, it used to crack me up how ITA students would forget to include all that experience in their resumes. Like it had become such a part of life that they just forgot how special it was. I hope you never forget how special it is. Uh, in my role as a support person, I appreciated the trust and confidence families placed in me. And one thing that has stayed with me over the years is how often families of graduating seniors, parents and guardians would call and ask in so many different ways, what did I miss? Did I do everything I could do for this child? you know, about to launch into being an adult, what should I be doing now? So not unlike the way that students forgot how impressive their ITA achievements were when preparing resumes, those of you who have been raising, loving, teaching, nurturing, feeding, driving, worrying over and making your babies, making sure your babies are making the most of every opportunity, you might be panicking when what you really deserve is a nice big exhale and a rich feeling of satisfaction for a job well done. Like today's celebrants, you have accomplished something very special these past couple of years and under some extraordinarily challenging circumstances. We all know there are plenty more challenges ahead. For today though, students, families, staff, I hope you'll enjoy that full exhale and accept the credit you so richly deserve for your commitment, perseverance, and accomplishment. This program asked a lot of all of you, and you did it all. Congratulations and very best wishes for all of your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for sharing very thoughtful words with our graduates and their families today. Um, as they are getting ready to navigate this transition from high school to the next phase of their lives. I will now introduce our next speaker, um, Andrew Phillips. Andre Phillips has over 35 years of experience in the college admissions professions. Since 2017, he has served as the Director of Admissions and Recruitment at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Prior to his work at UW-Madison, he held leadership appointments at the University of Chicago and the Illinois Institute of Technology. Mr. Phillips is the chief designer of UW-Madison's local, national, and international recruitment strategy. He oversees 70 full-time team members who recruit, process, evaluate, and admit, and admit each enrolling class of freshmen and transfer students. He leads an array of efforts that includes working collaborative with campus partners, community stakeholders, on and off campus service organizations, and a cross section of alumni, volunteers, and supporters on initiatives to attract high ability students from all corners of the state of Wisconsin, the country, and around the world. Originally from Chicago, Illinois, Phillips attended the Graduate School of Business at the University of Chicago and received his bachelor's degree from Loyola University of Chicago. Um, we are so excited to have you here with us this morning and the floor and time is yours. Thank you, Nunoska. Good morning, everyone. 
Uh, if we were in a room together, uh, right about now, we jump up and applaud. I cannot tell you how excited I am to be with you this morning. Um, uh, I flash you a big old UW congratulations, uh, making it this to this point. Uh, this is a wonderful day. Uh, to the students in the room, uh, the family members and those who support uh, support you, congratulations. Uh, and especially, I would like to extend a thank you to the ITA family, uh, as Ron and, and others will remember. Uh, one of my first assignments when I arrived on campus uh, in the fall of 2011, uh, I, I was asked to join um, the advisory board of ITA. I take particular pride in having an opportunity uh, to say hello, good morning, and congratulations uh, to this graduating group. Uh, in the brief time I have with you this morning, I would like to share uh, really three things. Uh, but at the top of the list for me, and I want to spend most of my minutes here uh, to let you students know how proud I am of you uh, for taking this on, uh, for being able to vision for yourselves and to imagine what it means to invest in yourself. And I wanna talk about investment throughout my brief time, but I just wanna spend some time right at the outset uh, to congratulate you for uh, investing in your future, uh, as eighth graders going through this process of putting yourself out there, believing that there was something better for you to do, uh, and then being able to see it through to this day. Uh, that's enormous. And I hope as you continue to envision and work uh, um, uh, to better yourselves, that you'll remember the investment you made uh, four years ago a little bit more than four years ago, that you wanted to better your best, uh, excited for you. Um, your time as high school students is rapidly coming to a close. But keep in mind, you all have gone through an extraordinary period of time. Uh, as someone who thinks about history from time to time, you all have experienced uh, arguably uh, what has been the most challenging time over the last 50 years or so for high school students. And you have shown resilience. For that, you should be proud. For that, you build your future on. Uh, that you've taken on the challenges. Uh, you've figured out how on those toughest of days, how to dig in and get better. And on the best of those days, I trust what you've done is made things better for others. And that is a part of what I want you all to think about. For all of your accomplishments, take this opportunity to make things better for someone else. That's also going to enrich your future. As I think about this moment, I wanna look forward with you. We always will have our history our history will inform what we do. Uh, but I want you to think again about the importance of self-investment and why it matters. It matters that you continually invest in yourselves, that you continually build for yourselves. Uh, good questions. Always ask the important question, or as I like to suggest, the more important follow-up question. Uh, I think as the ITA family will tell you and you've noticed, they always have answers to your first question, but they always want you to come back with the follow-up question. I make the argument that the real information resides in your follow-up question because of the application you are making to self. And why are you making the application to self? It's because of the self-investment. So I want you all to continually think about good questions, how to identify the follow-up question, 
But more importantly, how do you translate that into what ultimately becomes the allies who are drawn to you? Because you're asking those good questions, you're thinking about what it means to apply. And finally, because of what it means, it means that you are making good investments. And there's much more that I could share, but I wanna be respectful of time. But before I close, let me share with you very quickly what I imagine your ITA experience has really meant. And this is something that I've often thought about and I wanna share with you. And that's how you wake up every day with a plan. And I trust as you all over time have been able to navigate all that's been put in front of you, you figured out that you need a plan. What I like to suggest, and I share with you here, that you should remind yourselves repeatedly of the all important five Ps. And take a moment and work with me. Think about what your five Ps are. I'll share with you my five. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. We'll say it again. Proper preparation prevents poor performance. Those five Ps for me have governed how I've approached things day in and day out. And it's important. And I'll tell you why. Because as you think about being prepared, you want to be ready, even if you don't have an opportunity. You all have likely heard this. I didn't say it, someone far greater uh, said this first. It is better to be prepared for an opportunity than to have an opportunity and not be prepared. So for me, and I hope for you, the five Ps should govern how you approach things. It works for me and I hope it will work for you. Because as we all know, in your approach to everything you do, you want to practice and practice and practice again so that you're ready when the opportunity presents itself. You agree with me, I'm sure, that practice makes, say it with me, improvement. I bet you thought I was going to say practice makes perfect, right? You've heard that. Practice simply makes improvement because you can always better your best. And if you are like me and you are working to be better each day, so when that opportunity presents itself, you're ready because we're all engaged in the lively art of readiness. You will maximize that opportunity when it presents itself. And in the end, if we are thinking about practice and preparation and bettering our best, it is all about, say it with me, self-improvement. And if we are doing self-improvement, we've made the all-important self-investment. I congratulate you. I'm excited for you. I wish you all the absolute best as you move on to the next adventure along this wonderful road that you're on. And if by chance, sometime in September or October, you happen to see me walking up, well, let's say walking down Bascom Hill, please say hello. It would be great to see you in the fall. And if by chance we're not on Bascom, maybe I'll see you over at Union South and we'll share a scoop of Babcock ice cream. Congratulations. I'm thrilled to be with you today and on Wisconsin. Thank you so much, Andre, for sharing those inspiring words with us, our graduates and their families. I know they all appreciate those pieces of advice for the future. Um, now we will have three students speak on behalf of each of our programs. Each student you hear from today was voted by their peers as the person whose voice represent how they feel about graduating from ITA. Our first speaker is gonna be Maya Detwalder from ITA Madison. Um, hi, I'm Maya. Um, so I'll start with my speech. <laughs> when I first got accepted into ITA, I never thought how many memories, skills, and friends I would make being in this program. 
IT taught us coding, photography, editing, filmmaking, college readiness, et cetera. But the one biggest takeaway that I've learned is that you can find a group of friends in anything that you do. I remember the first session vividly. I was shy and only knew about two people in our cohort. After the first summer session finished, I gained about 30 new friends. I can speak for all of us when I say that our biggest bonding experience was um, the film camp. I probably speak for a lot of people when I say that was the best buying experience. Watching everyone's films in the process of making them was just hilarious and very heartwarming. It, it was, it's really hard to express in words what's, what the summer felt like because it was so long and it was just a really great experience that I cannot express in words. I cannot express grat my gratitude enough for what this program has done for all of us. This program meant a lot more to us than learning about college and tech skills. It was a place where we could be ourselves with a group of people we have known for years. The pandemic took a lot away from our full experience from the program, and it was incredibly saddening that we were stolen from many more moments together, opportunities, and memories. But I can say that the time that we were able to spend together in person was amazing. I know this year was especially hard for coming back in person. A lot of us were struggling this year trying to finish all our assignments while, judging, while juggling our senior year but here we are. Thank you to my friends in the program for all the lunchtime karaoke days, support, laughs, the moments when we made all, all the other cohorts annoyed because we were loud and obnoxious and protesting for more scoops when we had Qdoba duplicated for lunch. You guys made my Saturdays. Thank you to our instructors, um, especially Juan, Patrice, who doesn't work here anymore, Michael and Rosie, and just all a big thank you to all the ITA staff. Um, because of ITA, I've been able to pursue my passions, gain experiences, grow as a student, and also see my friends pursue their passions. I cannot be so proud of everyone here, and I know we all will go on to do amazing things together, whether we go to UW-Madison or have chosen another path. I'll always remember the time spent here, and I'm forever grateful. Thank you. Thank you, Maya, for sharing those words with us. Uh, we will now hear from Sarah Ryan from ITA Like the Flambeau. Um, okay, hi. Um, so, okay, it's working. Cool, great. Okay, um, so these past years have been really hard for everybody. It's just really nice to see everyone um, and some new people. Um, <laughs> these, um, during these past few years, I felt a lot of different emotions. One was just the urge to quit the soul experience. Obviously and thankfully I didn't, um, but there were a lot of obstacles I just didn't want to go through. Of course, it was during COVID, my junior year of ITA. And during that time, and even recently, I felt as though there wasn't a point in trying and I should just drop out. Thankfully, Julie, Julie and Chris were there to help me and kept me afloat at this whole experience. Um, they made sure that I knew what I was doing was enough and that was worth staying this program. It taught me that I, it's okay to push past my limitations and that while there's tough times, there's also like really, really fun times and it makes it worth trying. Um, when we saw the in-person cohorts, which seems like like decades ago, we did like a potluck and that was a lot of fun to call all the instructors. And like, I genuinely think my phone almost came off too. It was just like a big ball. Um, it was, you know, it was a lot of fun to create memories that I will like, that I'll forever think about and hold dear. Taking pictures in the library <laughs> with everyone. Um, and seeing everyone lay on like land desks or climb on top of things and lay on the floor and just it's something I always smile smile at because it's so fun. Um, and it was also really fun to code like code the Michael robot with the PB and jelly sandwich. It really helped me become comfortable working with groups. Although it was really embarrassing, it helped me connect and it was nice to hear everyone laugh. Um, watching Michael smash the bread and like the jelly and the peanut butter go everywhere was really, really funny. Um, I swear I saw him drop some on the ground, which is even more funny. Um, being taught like that was something that I wish other teachers did, like in actual high school, because it was so fun and engaging. I was actually able to like immerse myself in my learning, which is something that I, it's hard to do. Um, this is a really like good program. It offers a really good opportunity for everyone who needs something and to figure out what they need to do. And it really helped me. Um, so I'm a really anxious person and like all the courses in it just really helped me get out of my shell 
and learn that it's okay to like make mistakes and to move on. Um, the benefits of this experience have been truly like, life changing and everything. And I'm just grateful for the relationships and knowledge. And I'm just thankful for my parents and ITA as they were always there for me, even if I didn't realize it or didn't want to realize it. Um, I also don't know where I'd be if it wasn't for ITA because it truly opened my eyes to what I want to do. And just, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, we will now hear from Jade Millar from ITA Oneida. Okay, um, hi. <laughs> um, so first of all, for me, I feel like ITA was a lot of different things, but I think that for the most part, all of us can agree that although ITA was really challenging at times, it was completely worth our while. Um, when we began this program going into our sophomore year of high school, things were really different than they are now. We made a lot of memories and we'll never forget those, such as the scavenger hunts at Norbert Hill Center and the fall kickoff and creating our own websites. Not to mention, no one can forget the mashed potatoes at lunch during our summer sessions. <laughs> Unfortunately, our class was kind of thrown for a huge loop when COVID hit, and as a result, we missed out on a lot of the fun things we were expecting from in-person cohorts to spring conference and the Silicon Valley trip. Although not everything went as planned, I personally learned a lot in the past four years in ITA that I would like to share with you. These are the lessons that I hope I can remember to reflect on in the next journey of my life. One being that there is really no shame in asking for help when you're struggling. Like, seriously, we were told this so many times by our teachers and yet most of us didn't listen because we were too stubborn to admit it that we needed help. Second, you have to put the work in for the results that you want. Your teachers and family will try to push you as much as they humanly possibly can, but to do good, you have to want it for yourself enough to do the heavy lifting. Three, don't procrastinate. This lesson is the one that really hit me the hardest. The less time you give yourself to do an assignment, the more stressed out you're gonna feel. Four, take every opportunity you are given. Sometimes you need to step out of your comfort zone and say yes to more things that will give you more knowledge. And five, the most important lesson, in my opinion, that I learned is to not give up on yourself. You're truly so much stronger and smarter than you believe that you are. And there has been a time when all of us wanted to just give up, whether it was with this program, high school, sports, work, anything. But if you gave up on yourself, or if I gave up on myself, we wouldn't have accomplished everything that we have today. Um, finally, I am extremely grateful to Chris, Dion, my family, and all of my teachers that I had throughout my time in ITA. Without their help and constant support, I would not be able to stand here today and proudly say that I'm going to be attending UW-Madison in the fall as a People Scholar, working towards my goal of becoming an RN. I am 100% certain that everyone graduating from ITA today will go on to share their knowledge with others and do amazing things in the future as well. Thank you. Thank you to you three so much for sharing about what today means for you and for your peers. I hope you know just how much your words mean to everyone gathered with us in this space. Um, now, AJ Dr. Krill will talk about the technology transcripts. Thank you, hard act to follow. Um, so many hard acts to follow. Um, yeah, I simply want to inform all the graduates that in your graduation packet, um, you will be receiving um, a document that I had the honor to prepare um, and reflect through. It's a sheet that certifies that you um, completed all the um, technology courses that we provided to you throughout the last three or four years. Um, <clears throat> My hope as I'm preparing those and like the energy that I put into that is that you look and you see the doors that we have opened for you. Whether they're a door of opportunity that's wide open because you loved it or just a crack open to be visited later or to be forgotten. <laughs> um, our whole goal with our programming and the years that you spend with us is to open those doors of opportunities and even more important than that, and to reflect some of the graduates now um, words, 
it's the memories that that are carried along with that. Um, it's so heartwarming and amazing to see the networks that you all built with each other, the community, and the relationships. So I really hope that simple piece of paper um, is there to remind you of all those things. Thank you. Thank you, AJ. It is now time for the presentation of our graduates. We are celebrating 32 amazing students who fulfilled a commitment to be in the Information Technology Academy. Class of 2022, it is now your time to shine. Um, we ask our graduates to please turn their cameras on if they are able to. Um, and as we call your name and say your future plans, feel free to unmute um, and say a few words if you will like. Victoria Abreu Socorro, planning to attend UW-Madison to study political science and psychology. Alexis Alonzo Cuevas, plans to attend UW-Madison with a business major. Adriana Angeles, plans to attend MATC for nursing or fire slash EMT. Oh, whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> Adama Barrow plans to attend UW-Madison as a biology major. Destiny Boone, planning to attend UW-Madison. Zavon Campbell, plans to pursue a career in real estate. Kevin Cuellar, plans to attend UW-Madison for a psychology major. Jasmine Favela, plans to attend MATC for elementary education. Laura Seth will be taking a gap year and then attending Madison College. Manuel Gonzalez plans to attend UW Madison in a major of computer science. Ahmed Saeed plans to attend UW Madison for mechanical engineering. Araceli Negrete Garcia plans to attend UW Madison as a conservation biology major. Francisco Nava will be attending Madison College and is interested in studying fire science. Jade Millar will be attending UW-Madison with a major of nursing. Noah Lopez will be attending Columbia College, Chicago for film and television. Andrew Shong plans to attend UW-Madison as a nursing major. Sierra Weibel will be attending UW-Madison to study forest science. Alexis Zarate Castro plans to attend UW-Madison with a major in biochemistry. Sering Palmo plans to attend UW-Madison. Mia Barris plans to attend MATC as a liberal arts transfer. Leila Rodriguez, also attending MATC to study nursing.
Sarah Ryan plans to attend Nicolet College, majoring in psychology and welding. Savannah Arunsava plans to attend UW Madison. Maya Deadwaller plans to attend UW Madison and study abroad in London. Tara Catch plans to attend UW Eau Claire on the pre med track. Debbie Lee plans to attend UW Madison also on the pre med track. Abubakar Darbo plans to attend Vanderbilt University. Jonas Kanush plans to attend UW Green Bay for business administration. Rins and Kunsel will be attending UW Madison. Jacob LeBlanc will plan to attend community college before pursuing a degree at UW Madison. Ariam Aaron plans to attend UW Milwaukee for environmental science and conservation majors. Diana Miranda Nazi plans to attend the University of Denver as a biology major. We are incredibly proud of every single one of you, but more importantly, you should be proud of yourself. I think I speak for all of the staff when I say that it has been truly an honor and a privilege to be part of your journey. So congratulations again. If you have not already, um, our Madison seniors were able to pick up their graduation gift bags. For our tribal site students, your boxes with your graduation goodies should be arriving to you very, very soon. In there, you will find your ITA completion certificate, your ITA stole, which you can wear to your uh, high school graduation and various other items. Uh, please make sure to read the card that is inside your package um, and confirm that you received it. Now, ITA's executive director and assistant director of academic technology within the division of information technology, Ron Jetty, will be presenting the Legacy of Excellence Awards and giving a few remarks. Thank you, Nina Oska, for your outstanding uh, emceeing this morning. Uh, greatly appreciated. As I mentioned earlier, a uh, historic uh, day here with you as our first alumnus to um, be, be coordinating the graduation uh, festivities here. So. Huge shout out to you and, and uh, thanks to the other staff who, who supported uh, with that, particularly Liliana uh, and uh, Marlena Polk McGivern. I'd be remiss in not uh, mentioning her, our uh, program associate who um, uh, makes things happen for us with the uh, with, uh, day of uh, festivities um, and uh, logistics. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I wanna step back for a moment uh, before I get into a, um, some special awards here and um, um, thank our, our speakers as well. Uh, it's kind of a return to ITA for both of them, both Michelle and Andre. Um, Michelle with her uh, staff role and now on the advisory board and, and Andre uh, coming back as uh, uh, our, our keynote speaker here, having uh, served uh, uh, when he first arrived at the university as a um, an advisory board representative. Greatly appreciate your support and um, the uh, words of wisdom that you shared with our uh, young adults here who are, are now graduates of ITA. Um, thank you so much for, for sharing that. Our student speakers, um, congratulations to you as well. Uh, and thank you for your remarks to encourage your peers here on the uh, thing. Every, uh, and, and some of you talked about the challenges in your remarks of COVID. Um, we experienced those as staff as well. I can tell you how hard this was to not see uh, students in person. Um, 
you know, it, se it seems like, uh, well, as, as Sarah, I think you mentioned in your remarks, a couple decades, <laughs> it seemed like since, since we'd seen anybody. So very challenging um, time. And, you know, if, if you think about it, and I don't want to turn this into a sad event because we're celebrating you, you're all here at the finish line, but there are others that started out this journey and, and um, uh, didn't make it to graduation today, that particularly with the uh, challenges of the pandemic. So I know that um, you've all been encouraged to be proud of yourselves here uh, multiple times from, from different speakers, from your peer speakers as well. Uh, but I, I really hope that you um, uh, take special pride in um, probably what's the most challenging, you know, gonna be, be amongst the most challenging three years of this uh, century actually. Um, this COVID uh, thing, and you, and you had to go to high school in that and, and complete this pre-college program. So kudos to all of you. Um, you. You really should be proud of yourselves. And uh, it's always fun to see the slides as we come up. We've got so many interests supported here. Uh, you know, we love it when students are showing UW-Madison as their uh, intended destination, but the staff, we're all thrilled that no matter what your post-secondary plans are and uh, some very interesting um, future professions that you're uh, gonna sort out for yourselves. And so wishing you all the best with that. Um, so yeah, so now I have um, a few uh, awards to give out here and uh, this is always fun. So every year the ITA staff selects a senior, uh, one senior each from our Lac de Flambeau, our Madison and our Oneida cohorts for special recognition based on their contributions to their cohort and uh, to the overall ITA community. These awards are called the ITA Legacy of Excellence. This year's winners were recognized by ITA staff members for their outstanding leadership skills as they made the most of their Information Technology ex Academy experiences. They served as positive role models for their fellow students throughout their time in the program and we're willing to help fellow students uh, in, in a um, cheerful manner. So I know that remaining engaged in ITA programming has been especially challenging during this pandemic. Uh, these students excelled in school and maintained ITA as a priority during their entire time in high school. So for first, I will um, uh, present for Lac de Flambeau here, the 22 uh, 2022 Legacy of Excellence Award for ITA Lac de Flambeau goes to Ms. Sarah Ryan. And Sarah will be attending Nicolet College in Rhinelander this fall. Congratulations, Sarah. Excellent. And thank you for your, your uh, remarks earlier as well, Sarah. Um, the Legacy of Excellence Award for ITA Madison goes to Ms. Victoria Abreu Socorro, and Victoria will be attending UW-Madison. Congratulations, Victoria. And last but certainly not least, uh, the Legacy of Excellence Award this year for ITA Oneida goes to Mr. Jonas Kanush, and Jonas will be attending the University of Wisconsin Green Bay. Congratulations. Congratulations to all three of you on your accomplishments, your encouragement of your fellow students. And I wanna thank you on behalf of the ITA staff for your contributions to the ITA community. In addition to the certificates that we're gonna be mailing you, uh, you can also thank um, ITA donors and program sponsors for the iPad that you will each be receiving. So uh, be on the lookout for a, uh, uh, a package in the mail uh, will have your certificate and your iPad in there. Um, and uh, yeah, so don't forget about us at ITA. I think uh, you'll all be pleased to receive that uh, mail here next week. And um, so yes, thank you and congrats to you, uh, Legacy of Excellence winners. I wanna also uh, conclude here my remarks by thanking the ITA staff for their outstanding efforts uh, we have 
academic and technology student instructors uh, that help support this work. We wouldn't be able to do it without them. A number of them are ITA graduates. Uh, they've been challenged through this whole thing as well, having to um, uh, you know, go to the university <laughs> in COVID and, uh, and be locked down. It really has been strange times if we reflect back on, on this entire um, uh, journey here with, with COVID that we were presented. So uh, thanks to our, our student staff members for their tenacity and, and persistence. And then thank you to our full-time staff as well for the same, all the coordination and, and uh, curve balls that were thrown at us throughout COVID. Um, all the work that you did to support our, our graduates here today, they'll, they'll never forget it. Um, and uh, uh, really none of us will. So thanks everybody. Um, yeah, and then I'm, I'm going to thank our advisory board members and our campus sponsors and partners, including the Office of the Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration and the Division of Equity, Diversity, and Educational Achievement. So we're proud to have this program hosted in Do It in the Division of Information Technology. Uh, that's unique amongst big universities like ours, but we certainly would not be able to deliver this program without other campus partners. Uh, that goes for admissions, housing, um, all of our different um, uh, campus partners that help us uh, deliver this program. So thank you all. Uh, this has been a fun morning celebrating your accomplishments of all you talented young adults, the time you spent in classrooms and labs engaged in field experiences to expand your knowledge and skills in the areas of technology. Uh, we're proud of each and every one of you. And after today, you can say that you're, uh, you can hopefully be proud of saying that you've joined nearly 450 ITA alumni who came before you. So that's no small achievement. I wish you all the best as you continue on your various educational paths and into adulthood. Uh, please remember you're always welcome to come and visit us at ITA. And I hope that those of you attending UW-Madison will consider coming back to work for us. So thank you all and uh, congratulations again. Thank you, Ron, for your words. Uh, we are close to the end of our event today, but before we go, I would like to say thank you to our speakers today and all of the staff behind the scenes that helped us celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2022. Thanks, thank Nino. <laughs> Can I say one more thing, Nino? Of course. We have um, a special VIP guest here today, Ms. Sarah Hallis. Uh, Sarah uh, has worked uh, for, for another unit on campus now, uh, as unfortunately no longer with ITA, but she's a VIP guest and, and uh, worked with our uh, Madison students. So thanks, Sarah, for, for joining us here this morning. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Ron. Uh, I know a lot of our graduates are here and we want to give you some time now if you would like to say some words before we conclude our program. And if you don't, that's okay graduating and soak it in, soak it in, enjoy it. Uh, thank you to our seniors. As I mentioned before, it truly has been an honor and privilege to be a part of your journey. I was in your shoes many years ago and to this day, ITA is one of the best things that happened to me. So cherish it, enjoy it. Uh, don't forget about us. Our offices are always open for you to come and visit. And as Ron said, we would love to have some of you back and working with us. We will now conclude this program with a reading of All the Places You'll Go by Dr. Seuss. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know, and you are the person who will decide where to go. You will look up and down streets, look them over with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. 
with your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet. You're too smart to go up down any not so good street. A not so good street. And you may not find any, you'll want to go down. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there, things can happen and frequently do to people as brainy and footsie as you. And when things start to happen, don't worry, don't stew. Just go right along, you'll start happening too. Oh, the places you'll go. You'll be on your way up. You'll see, um, you'll be seeing great sights. You'll join the high flyers who soar at great heights. You won't lag behind because you'll have the speed. You'll pass the whole game and you'll soon take the lead. Wherever you fly, you'll be the best of the best. Wherever you go, you'll top all the rest. Except when you don't because sometimes you won't. On and on you will hike, and I know you will hike far and face up to your problems, whatever they are. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact. And remember that life's a great balancing act. Just never forget to be dexterous and deft and never mix up your right foot with your left. And will you succeed? Yes, you will indeed. Oh, 98 and three quarters percent guaranteed. Students, you'll move mountains. So be your name Voxbaum or Bixby or Bray or Mordecai Ali Von Allen O'Shea. You're off to great places. Today is your day. Your mountain is waiting. So get on your way. Dr. Seuss. I hope everyone has a, re a great rest of your day and please keep in touch. We will be uh, uh, sending this out to you guys to share with your families and friends once it is uploaded to our YouTube page. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. All right. Congratulations. Congratulations. Bye. Bye, everybody. Congratulations. Thank you. Everybody, sorry for my internet. <laughs> Bye. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. See you soon. Yeah. Don't be strangers. <laughs>